All right, guys, it is your last chance to subscribe to the website for your chance to win a next generation console. Thank you to everyone for the insane support since we've started this website. It is our first birthday, and as always, we try and give back to you guys as much as we possibly can. Basically, if you subscribe to the site, you will make coins, millions of coins without a doubt, but you also get a chance this month to win a brand new next gen console. £10 a month gets you access to buy-in prices for icons, special cards, silver cards, and Thursday flips. This video, all about Thursday flips. So if you want to literally the prices to buy and sell that, now's your time to do it. Uh, tier 2 gives you live filters. It gives you Chemstar filters. It gives you UCL filters. And it gives you fluctuations. Fluctuations are incredible and so quick to make coins out of. You can buy 10 coins cards at a time, make profit straight away. And we've introduced a new Tier 3, which includes a bot on Discord, which tells you when cards you're looking at, all fluctuations are low, for you to buy those cards and sell them instantly for profit. It's an incredible tool that we've built. Um, completely like the legitimate, legitimate way to make coins. So if you want to get involved, make sure you head over to foottrading.co.uk for your chance to win a next gen console. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. This video is usually League SBC Method to Glory, but I wanted to bring out a video because rival awards are out or about to be out for you, for some of you. Um, in terms of waking up and I want you guys to think about what you're doing for coins in the next couple of days because there are massive coins to be made in this game very very easily if you're smart about how you play it um, so I want to go in that, over that in, in a bit of detail for you guys but don't forget you get three videos in this chat on the, three videos a day on this channel every time I say that I stutter uh, the morning is normally League SPC but today traded the evening is always a trading video teaching you how to make coins and the midnight is a mixture of picks packs upgrades all that awesome stuff we'll take that as it comes depending on what content we do get but this video is all about division rival awards and it's one of those ones where i implore you to listen to what i say in this video and do it as i say it because some of you guys followed what i said to do last week in terms of pre-investing in the syria um and cars like that and the sudamericana and you made a huge amount of coins in the, in the week a massive amount one guy messaged me saying he put i think 400k into syria silvers sudamericanas and libertadores and took 1 million out and i can't stress it enough it's vitally vitally important um, but basically, we're about to get supply, and it's not just this, it's marking matchups too, but we'll talk about that in the, in the, in the 515 video. But if you look at what's on the game at the moment, um, we have some decent SBCs in terms of Mangala, Vidal, player picks. Um, so player picks straight away, continue to buy rare golds, non-rare golds, and lazy list them. What I advise you to do with this is choose a rare gold and just snipe and bid them up on as much as you can. So let's say you choose Man 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 Lazari, the right mid from Lazio. Go and buy like 50 to 100 of him and just ma overlist him at like 1,400 coins. You will get sales every hour. You'll double your coins on him. So some, that's how you, how you really tend to do the 81 plus picks um, in terms of rare uh, rare upgrades. But outside that, there's a few player SBCs which are good. They're, they're, they're decent. Uh, There's no icon SBC to keep the market inflated. Other than these console ones, why do I keep yawning? <sighs> but anyway, the crucial thing here is these three SBCs you see in front of you. So EFL Championship, Champions League and Bundesliga. So we'll start by talking about the EFL Championship. Now, none of the cards in this league get that high, but they're consistently between 500 to 1,000, 1,500 coins, okay? And so it's very, very easy to make coins out of these because this SBC ends in four hours from when I record this. So I would essentially advise you to go Championship, Basic, Silver, and buy everything you possibly can for two, 300 coins. You cannot make a loss on it. Full stop. You can't make a loss. It's, it's not difficult in any way, shape or form. You physically cannot make a loss at that price. It's very, very easy. So snipe them, bid on them, because it will come back. It will come back without a doubt, just making sure you make coins on it. But these are the two that are the big ones. So we'll start by talking about the Champions League SBC. Um, so this is ending now. The reason why the Champions League SBC is such a good one to make coins out of is the fact you need 11 common or rare players, and they tend to get very, very expensive. Um, now, the Champions League cards are twofold at the moment. If we look at Champions League rares and commons that happen to be Brazilian or Argentinian, you can look at these right now for a fact. Let me go to Church of Market. Ugh. Quickly. Champions League. A rare. Nation. Argentina. Literally, the only cards that are of value that are cheap is the goalkeeper from United Romero. Everyone else has got a decent value because you can use the UCL cards mixed with the Argentinians and Brazilians to do two of the squad battle rejectors at once, so you can buy those. However, even as a standard, right, Major League centre-backs, Major League, um, Major League 
Right backs, left backs, they can be expensive. Central midfielders as well. So if, if I show you this now, let's go Champions League Rares. Let's get rid of that. Premier League, centre back, okay? So this gives you an idea. There you go. So this is how expensive they get. And one of the reasons, well, the main reason they're expensive is because of this SBC. That's it. The reason why a lot of this stuff is expensive is because that SBC exists. Um, and when the SBC goes, as we've seen numerous times before, the cards plummet in value. Libertadores died, uh, Sumericana died, Serie A died. You have the opportunity to go and buy these. And my advice to you is Major League, Centre Backs, Centre Mids, CDNs, even Strikers do okay to be fair. Goalkeepers from the Bundesliga do very, very well. And you want to pick them up cheaper than the prices you're currently seeing them at at the moment. So if you, let's say for example, you can send it back to, for the La Liga Santander. And right now there's nothing lower than on, on Xbox, like, well, 3,400 coins basically. So you want to be looking at like, if you can buy them in at around 1,000, 1,200 coins, when this SBC comes back, you can't lose coins. But also, UCL is out next week. We've got the UCL back. There will be UCL marquee matchups. It will be very, very easy to make coins from UCL marquee matchups if you've got these cards stacked into your club. Only thing I would say, if you're the sort of person that likes to open packs up, especially with Friday coming, you cannot go unassigned on this because you can't open up packs. What you can do is stick up like 50 on transfer pile and buy one of each and stick them in your club, which is particularly pertinent when we talk about the Bundesliga. Um, straight away, here are your foot. Actually, we'll go, to, we'll go to transfer market and I'll give you the built to the Bundesliga. I'll show them as we go. Um, the Bundesliga ends and it ends with a 100k pack. It should, it should come back with a 125k pack. So we go Bundesliga, Mainz, centre-backs. There's one there. It's going to go, I don't know why I didn't just buy that. It's really jarring. No, it's, not, it's not too expensive. These guys can get quite high when we get no supply, but they're a very easy sell. It's a very good filter. Bielefeld at the moment are through the roof. I saw earlier on we got them. So it's 5,000, 4,700 there. Both of those can be flipped on for profit. Let's buy both of these. Um, they're basically, without those two being undercuts, they're at 5,900 coins, basically. Again, you'll be able to buy these for one, one and a half K relatively easily. And then you don't list them straight away. We'll talk about that in a second, but you don't list them straight away. But again, you want to buy one of each of these silvers, unless you're willing to go unassigned. If you're willing to go unassigned, buy hundreds. If you're not willing to, then just one to club stock is perfectly fine to get your coins up. More from the Bundesliga. Again, centre-backs from Munch and Gladbach. Center, oh, sorry, not centre-backs, goalkeepers from Munch and Gladbach. Anywhere at 700 coins or below is fine. Leipzig goalkeepers at 800, 900 coins or below is fine. And then Union Berlin, every single position basically is good for Union Berlin. Again, at 1,000 coins or below, that's a maximum you want to pay. Ideally, you pay less than that. Now, the reason I always say to buy one of these cards and, and do it is that you're not waiting then on stuff to be released. The big problem that people have on this game is when EA release content, they buy loads of stuff in the hopes that that comes quickly. And yes, the League SBC's last time came back very quickly. This time they may not. So I wouldn't want to rely upon that. And you're going to be sitting there jamming on hundreds of silvers when you don't need to. What I call these are just long-term holds. Realistically, they're long-term holds. And you haven't really got to do too much with them. Um, you just leave them set the club, pretend they don't exist. And then when they come, when they come down to it, you go bada bing, I'm going to sell all of them for loads of profit. Now let's talk about selling point on them. The selling point on those sort of cards usually is about three or four days after the SPC comes out, unless you're doing it for marquee matchups, UCLs, and you sell it before UCL marquee matchups comes out. So if you've got the UCL cards jamming in your club or you're holding them and we don't get the UCL SPC back before marquee matchups on Tuesday, Wednesday, the moment those cards start to rise, sell them because what happens is everyone that's pre-bought them holds them until the SPC comes out and floods the market and you don't make as much as you'd make if you sold them in the hype. So it's important you do that. Something else to look at as well is Shadows and Hunters and stuff like that. Shadows are up at 2-6 at the moment. Last weekend league, they got to 3-1 on Xbox, I think, at one point. But during the Vision Rifle Awards, you could pick these cards up for 2, 2.1k. It's a 1,000 coins a card, in it? Um, again, it, they might not rise as much this week as they rose last week, um, but you can definitely look to get them. Hunters, on the other hand, didn't really rise last week at all, and they're holding steady at 1,400 coins at the moment. Now, this is the lowest they'll probably be um, with weekend league coming. I'd be looking to get these at a thousand coins and below. But again, one of the easier ways to pick these cards up is usually on bids. Um, obviously, the market's quite quiet right now, but during weekend league rewards, bids are much more OP, much more strong in terms of how you go and make coins in that way. Final thing to think about are the foot birthday cards themselves. This is the last bit of solid supply. Well, it's Thursday. It's the last part of solid supply that we get. 
So between division rivals, marquee matchups, and, and Thursday promo packs, it's the last bit of supply we get. And what tends to happen to those cards is they see a small spike as they come out of packs on Friday before dropping off with the new team coming out. Um, they tend to get hit. So I'd be looking at those foot birthdays. If you can see decent deals today, so let's say theoretically we're looking at, I don't know, Sane. This is just my example for you. I'm not everyone's really sort of coin. So Leroy Sane has a foot birthday card. He's got up, mate. Why has he got why has he ridden so much? So he's currently at 895, okay? This foot birthday card is 895,000 coins. During wars today, people are gonna pick him up and they're gonna list them under underlisting. It always happens. They'll get underlisted. Look at these cards, 100%, but you're looking to flip them on quickly. So everything on the market gets hit initially when rewards comes out, and it bounces back as everyone gets spending power from selling the stuff that they're packed, okay? So let's say Fibic Asana come up at 820, 800, I'd be interested in that. Pang He Chan, for example, relatively usable card, not very expensive. He's going to be packed quite a bit, so he might see quite a hit um, in terms of his price. So at the moment on Xbox, this is on Wednesday afternoon, He's currently sat with, oh jeez, it's so cheap for that card. Such a good card for how cheap it is. He's currently sat at 41,000 coins, okay? It's the cheapest Wanky Channel on the market at the moment. There's no reason why with supply of this car, card at 85, he doesn't get down to 30. There's no way that a five-star weak foot striker holds that low. So I'd be looking at him intently if I were you because it could be very good profit there. But that's your plays for Division Rival Wars today. Make sure you get involved in them. It's easy coins guaranteed to make you profit in the long term. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure, make sure your notifications are turned on. Uh, don't forget, we're going to be drawing the winner for the next generation console today. Probably on my, my Twitch stream. I'll let you know, though, to be specific. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.